Hello. Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? Thank you for watching my channel. If you are new to my channel, my channel is about ascension, love, healing, twin flames, and soulmates, and everything in between there. How are you? In this video, I want to talk to you about COVID, long COVID, and the ascension. There's a lot of confusion out there about which is which, and I, I hope to clear up a lot of that confusion. Clearing this up, though, may take several months because it actually takes effort and it takes participation to actually distinguish which is which. A lot of people are living in fear, and I've had some lessons in the fear-mongering out there that is perpetrated by people everyday people because they're cashing in. Now, there's one thing where you have to pay for a service and there's a whole other thing when people cash in because everyone runs or runs away and they are just mortally afraid. Where does this fear come from? It comes from deep in the root, but that's not all. It involves the mind, but it most definitely involves the body. What about COVID and where is all this at? Okay, so just to say a few things here, there are more fearful things about this than there are sensible things about it. There are people who have been working on things for actually more than just last year or the year before. So while it first kind of started in 2019, people becoming aware of being really sick with some virus, I was one of them. And then my child got sick right before the big thing happened and the lockdown hit. Now, how does this pair up against ascension? Ascension itself has symptoms. Some of those symptoms can be similar. In fact, there are lists out there of symptoms that are being attributed to COVID, but they are more than likely ascension symptoms. How do I know this? Because for 15 years, I've been documenting it. I've been personally going through it. I have been personally going through the symptoms, documenting it and the solutions, what I did, how I did it, how long I did it for. There are two different varying things to know about how do you tell which is which. One of the hallmarks of a viral infection is when the viral load goes high enough, it will shoot up and spike a fever. If there is a fever, 99% of the time, there will be a virus as the reason. And it can happen very abruptly. With ascension, it's a little bit different. It is like a sort of a jerking up, but after that comes what could very well be described as releasing. Now, when a person releases, they could be releasing from different areas, and it may not seem to make sense. There are things that people talk about, like COVID toes. That's also an ascension symptom. Why? Because it has to do with the nerves and the capillaries and the connections, actually, to the liver, spleen, and pancreas. It's very common in people with diabetes. So that makes it common in people where it runs in the family. That is just one example. Is it attributable? That's debatable because of the fact that someone may have had COVID and the very fact that the immune system goes into hyperdrive means that more than likely that person will be needing to clear some other things up. What happens in ascension? Well, in ascension, it holds three distinct, uh, there's a pattern that holds three distinct things every single time. And that is ascend, lift up, let go, maintain. That's it. Now that sounds really simple, but if you're not accustomed to it, you may be really confused about what to do about it. But I know this because this is what I do. This is what I am tasked with. And this is what I've been helping people with 
starting from 15 years ago, it's been a constant evolution. I did know something really big was happening. I was seeing some things in my dreams. I don't think any of us were prepared for the enormity of a worldwide pandemic and lockdowns. Is it necessary? Well, yeah, slowing everything down so it can be assessed and so that it prevents other people from getting sick and dying, yes. Is there a metaphysical aspect to this? Absolutely. And I have that information as to what various things do mean. Because you are more than just a physical body. You're more than just a spirit, spiritual body or spirit. You are not just a spirit having a human experience. You are also a human having a multidimensional experience. And that's where it gets tricky. And that's where you need the proper guide, which is me. The proper guide, teacher, and healer, and the person who has developed a methodology and a modality in order to help you address this. So COVID usually refers to getting ill with a virus. If you are getting ill with other things, that could very well be part of your ascension. Now, you just to kind of square things up here, you can be ill with things such as if you are going through a detox and you need to, let, let's say you quit smoking, you're going to have symptoms. You're going to have withdrawal and, and detox symptoms. It's that simple. You can't confuse one with the other. If you're on a diet, your body is going to go through changes because it's trying to adjust your internal chemistry. Now, you may not have had the years of biology and pre-medical training that I have had in terms of the chemistry of the body, the physiology of the body. And that's okay. That's what I'm here for. I understand it and I lead you through it and I take the fear out of it. The overlapping symptoms are what can alarm the person and particularly doctors or other medical care workers as they try to figure out where this is. Some of it they will never figure out in certain ways because there are other aspects to it, primarily the metaphysical aspect, which is what I specialize in. Now that might sound really woo-woo. So let me take a little bit of that guesswork out of it. Your body has energy. Sometimes you have more energy, you have less energy. Sometimes you can sense things, okay? Sometimes you really can't sense it right away. But your senses are there to tell you things. And if you are numbed out, traumatized, abused, you may not be able to tell. That happens. You may not realize something until the last minute. That in and of itself could make you more nervous. So let's take that away. Let's take that out of the picture here. W would you like to live by your senses, live by your wits, your instincts, your guts, without overreacting? Would you like this to be sensible? Would you like there to be a process to this so that not only can you be aware of which is which, you can also be aware of boosting your own immune system? Now, that's what I'm all about because boosting your immune system means several things. It means everything from being able to be out amongst car fumes and pollens in the air and the occasional volcano that goes off. It also means being able to get rid of any of the toxins that those things bring to your body and remain healthy and well, and not only remain healthy and well, but do it from up here, from a much higher vibration, from a much more pleasant place. This can be uh, experienced in your family. Nobody wants a prolonged illness. So the, the main runtime for you know, mostly this virus, because I've had it, my son has had it, five to seven days. There are things that I would recommend to do. And there is uh, something to know about it. Viruses go in cycles. Viruses work a little bit differently and antibiotics will not help them. Antivirals are still in development. Okay, so like the way that I see this 
is we're addressing it from several angles in a much more holistic way for the whole person. The whole person. There are symptoms that aren't even being spoken of because nobody really knows what to make of them. Such as, um, did you know that some people have past life memories come up? Yeah, that also is an ascension symptom. It is. It can be very spontaneous. How does a person know this? It's by feeling it. They feel it as that was my past life. They don't always go run to someone and then someone says like, oh, hey, you know what that was? And tells them. The best way that you do this is by feeling it firsthand for yourself and distinguishing it. That is what I'm here to teach. I'm here to help you heighten your senses, to be sensible, to have a plan because it is part of a plan. I won't say COVID is, but what I'm saying is that the other part of it that I'm talking about here, ascension, twin flame ascension, getting better, anti-aging, boost your immune system, let your light body and your chakras and your etheric body take care of your physical body and your physical life. And not only that, to do it for you and your love, your true love, your true, true love. Not someone you made up in your head because even that isn't going to last. Time to get out of some of the, you know, fantasy land stuff and back to reality of what can you do? What should you do? And certain things will no longer work anymore. Certain things will work. A focus on self is not being selfish. That is proper self-care. So I like to break it down here. And not only that, I, I actually have been through several types of viruses in my life. And that is why I feel that I can talk about it, write about it and uh, give you my best information about it from first hand. Now, the difference here is that this is not happening in a lab setting. This could be happening in your house. This could be happening to you and you've got to get to work and you can't be bogged down and you don't want to be afraid and you don't want to be afraid if people are saying, wear the mask, don't wear the mask, do you, don't you. I myself have had the vaccine and I went and got it because I just wanted it over with. I wanted to do what I felt. And the main reason I wanted to be able to travel uh, that really got to me to not be able to travel. So why these overlaps? Why these overlaps? Because it is sometimes affecting the same body parts. Your heart, which is for ascending and rising up, is so close to your lungs. Yeah, there can be overlap. There can be parts of you that have had previous environments or conditions where maybe you were breathing smoke, you were breathing fumes. There is, again, like I say, this general three-part pattern to ascension that is not there with COVID. There are signs, there is treatment, and there are degrees of severity and there's also a test now. So at the time when we got it, there was no test available. But something in me knew, and I kicked it into high gear with all the things I know how to do, including swabbing everything down with alcohol and bleach. I mean, that was just a given. I've done that before, keeping surfaces clean, keep yourself clean, change your clothing. Those are just some of the things that you should do. I have recommendations on supplements for boosting your immune system. Some of them are very common that are very easy to get. Vitamin C, garlic capsules, vitamin D. And what do those do? Vitamin C is very good at um, supporting the liver, which is like a filter for literally flushing out toxins out of your body. Where do those toxins go? Well, you actually leave them in the toilet. <laughs> That's an amazing thing that you can literally evacuate things out of your body and then go into the toilet. What about the vitamin D? Vitamin D is not only important for skin, bones. It's actually very important for bones because 
blood is produced inside the marrow of the bones, fresh new blood, blood cells. So it supports that. It supports your sleep. If you're fatigued and having problems sleeping, you might try a little bit of vitamin D. It is also excellent for hormone production. So what are the hormones? The hormones are a, you know, they're like complex molecules that actually send chemical signals back and forth, the right ones. Like, you know, uh, pretty soon in a few hours, they're going to be hungry. Okay, like send the leptins, you know, like let's get those, you know, like let's get those hunger pains moving and stimulate the person to eat something. You might say like, hey, I know when I have to eat. You know who doesn't? Drug addicts, people who've had surgeries, people who've uh, given birth, people in depression, people who have some kind of mental illness like anorexia nervosa. They don't, they don't have a healthy relationship right now with food. So this is one of the things that does help your systems to boost. Okay. Another thing, garlic, antiviral, antibacterial. Now you might say, I don't really like garlic or the taste. So I would say, unless you're really allergic and you know you're allergic to it, get over it. Have it. How do you have it? Usually garlic capsules, they, they look like little beads, little beads filled with oil. You can have a few. They will help to flush your system. If you have impurities in your system, guess what you're going to find? You're going to find that you, your body emits odors. That actually is one of the symptoms of something inside you cleansing. Now, if you have a healthy system, if your system gets healthier, that doesn't linger. Those are impurities coming out. You're, it's like your body is burning off some impure stuff in there. You know, burning off some biofilms and things that are just like, you know, sticking to you. Did you ever cook? Did you ever have a frying pan and there's like some crud stuck on the frying pan? What do you have to do to get that off? Okay, there are ways to get things off on the inside of your body and that's what your body tries to do. It's always trying to keep you in as optimal a state of health as possible. Don't fight it. Work with me. Work with this. I have a great curriculum and modality to help you not only get through that, but to um, rise up and improve, or I'm just going to say it, up-level your life, up-level your health, your well-being, your mental health, your physical health, and your love life, because that's what I work on. That includes money life too, your money life, the house, all your houses. So thanks so much for watching. I'm Patricia. You can reach me at the links below and watch for my, my free little publication for to help you. Thank you. Bye.